Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's that time of the week, my least favorite day of the week, laundry day, but not just any laundry day. It's our active wear day, okay? Time to take care of our active wear. Mm -hmm. So this video was actually um, requested, so here I am showing you guys how I wash my active wear. But before I begin, please do hit that subscribe button because I do make new videos every single week. Also, I just want to note this, okay? Everything in this video that I do and teach you guys, I learned from Whitney Simmons, okay? So this was not just trial and error. I learned from the queen herself, okay? So if you happen to not know who Whitney Simmons is, I'll have her channel linked down below, but she is just absolutely amazing, so she teaches me so much, okay? She's just awesome. So, just letting you know that this is where I got um, basically all of my information from. So, let's get into it. My activewear smelling up the whole place. Let's do this. Okay. Are we good here? Am I in focus? Bay's not here to help me, so. Okay, I'm just gonna chill right here. First and foremost, you guys, I don't really wash activewear that often. I shoot for once a week, but um, in all honesty, I I rewear my activewear so much, okay? I only wash it if the pits reek, okay? I'm gonna be honest. Number one, it lasts longer, okay? The less you wash your activewear, the better in a sense. I mean, unless you got deodorant stains and all nasty stuff all over it, usually the less you wash it the longer it lasts, okay? Number two, I'm lazy. And number three, I don't reek it up every time, okay? So it's really only when it's like real potent, okay? You know what I mean, right? No, is that just me? You guys probably wash it after every use, yeah. Number one rule for taking care of your active wear. You need to buy yourself a separate laundry basket, okay? This is from freaking Dollar Tree. Yeah, I always keep it separate from my everyday clothes because clothes that I cook in, things like that, sleep in, got my fake tan, sleeping overnight in, all that stuff. Just keep it separate. You don't want it meshing into uh, the beautiful active wear, okay? You spend a lot of money on that active wear, baby girl, and you do not want it to go to waste, okay? I know I'm preaching and it sounds like active wear is just up here compared to all my other clothing, but the truth is, it, it is. It is, I'll be honest with you. I mostly wear activewear, so you're damn right. Super simple, okay? First things first, I always turn all of my activewear inside out, okay? For a few reasons. Number one, that's where the stank is. <laughs> Number two, it's good to do this because it basically helps to protect the uh, color of your activewear, okay? You want the outside of your activewear that, you know, people actually see to remain um, intact, perfect condition. God forbid you have like some dirt in your washing machine, okay? I'm probably the only one that has that too. But if there's dirt in there that you don't see and it gets like around in your activewear, it's gonna, it's gonna, there's more of a chance, okay, of it ending up smack dab right on the front of your activewear if you do not turn them inside out. This takes the longest, okay? If you're smart, you would turn it inside out as you go, not just wait till the day you're about to wash your activewear. <sighs> and yes, I also put in my really good hoodies, okay? Like my Gymshark. Even though it's like different material than your active wear, still, if you want it in pristine condition, baby, if it's that important to you, okay? This is the high class laundry, okay? All my other stuff, I don't care. <laughs> And in case you guys are wondering if I take out the bra inserts, the answer is no. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time for that. And um, if they do end up just like floating around, it's like a puzzle piece, all right? You just figure out where it goes, slip it back in, bada boom, bada bing, and you're done. But I just don't have the patience to be inserting and reserting and, and deserting things. So yeah, all right, we are good. Now it's time to show you how it goes down. Let's go. Okay guys, so real quick, um, if you are a huge slob like myself, okay, and you're always staining up your really nice active wear, you know, 
and you just look down and you just find a big chocolate protein stain on your light leggings, it's very disheartening and it um, could be very depressing, I know. But this may be from Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah, it's from Dollar Tree, it was a book. Works wonders, baby. I was really scared to use it at first because I don't really like to put anything on my active wear unless it says it's meant for active wear, but this did the trick. Took, took chocolate right out. Okay, just keep that in mind. This is from the brand, what it's called. LA is totally awesome. Okay, whatever. Now I'm about to show you the almighty detergent that I use. Oh. The one and only Hex, okay? I will have this linked down below because I had quite a few people ask me about the detergent that I use. This baby is so, so good. You find it right on Amazon, easy peasy. They have a few different selections, different like packaging and things like that. This is the Easy Spout um, Advanced Laundry Detergent Performance, okay? Free and clear. Switch hands real quick. So it is um, free and clear, dermatologist tested, non-allergenic. So, a lot of detergents actually do irritate me, make me sneeze and kind of just make me feel a little puffy in the face. This is dope, um, I will always buy this brand for sure. Meant for active wear, meant for even the toughest, nastiest, grimiest smelling armpits in the world. Believe it, okay. So, powerful cleaning, proactive protection, inspired by activewear, designed for all laundry. And believe me, sometimes my laundry still smells after I wash it, so I'll rewash it with this detergent and it takes out the odor right away. This smells very just crisp, clean to the point, okay? This was one of my activewear favorites, maybe you guys remember. Um, and I basically described it the same way. It's a to the point clean, okay? This is good for 35 loads, eco-friendly. Let's get to work. Okay guys, welcome to my little laundry area, yeah. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is, uh, well, you know, put all your active wear in. Yep, okay. Always make sure your washing machine is clean. I've had bad experiences, just so you know, okay? Is anybody else, I mean, it's a washing machine. Shouldn't it already clean itself? But I guess not. I find a lot of like grimy stuff going on in here. TMI? Probably. Secret. I don't treat my normal clothes like this at all, okay? This, I'm, I'm very, very particular, okay? One at a time, one at a time. My other clothes, I literally take the whole basket and just dump it like this, just whoop, upside down, let it all fall in there, throw in some detergent and just walk away. Don't tell uh, my mom that, okay? She'll have a freaking heart attack, okay? I've been doing that since forever and she always yells at me every single time. Sorry, Ma. I don't got time for that. <laughs> now that my babies are all safe and sound in there, I know y'all are probably like, gosh, she nuts or what? You have no idea. Here we go. Love this baby. Comes right off. Nothing crazy, but. All right, baby. This is so easy. You know, you just push it down here and fill it right up. Yeah. Easy pour spout. Oh no, I'm running out. I gotta pick up some more. This is what it looks like. Super super clear, okay? You don't want anything that's gonna dye up your active wear. No colors here, okay? Get out of town, okay? Are you serious? Okay, most important part right here, you guys. You're gonna wanna put the temperature on tap cold. You're gonna melt it if you put it with hot or warm water, okay? It's just gonna mess everything up, warp your stuff. You don't want that. And then right here, I just put it on delicate, okay? You want it to take it easy. Don't want it to do anything crazy to your activewear. Okay, nice and delicate. And hit start. Okay, finally. Ah, oh, there you are. Looks like so much less now. Oh, there's a bra pad, here we go. Okay, last step here is to dry the activewear. I had to move my plant, you see that? Thank God for this ledge. That's the one thing I have to say about this apartment. Oh boy, is this helpful right here. <laughs> so yes, guys, never ever ever put your activewear in a dryer. Like I said before, with the heat could really ruin, just destroy, warp, real, really mess up your activewear. So this is what I do, just wherever you have room, just kind of lay out your activewear wherever you can. 
hanging on a door, if you have a ledge like this, oh yeah. I ran out of room, so I had to like come over here by my little autumn display and put a couple things there, yeah. Okay, so that's all you do. Let it dry out, air dry it, best way to go, no heat, okay? Lay it flat if you can, preferably, but this is fine. So I thought I would end this video with one more tip, okay? After your activewear is all dry, how do you store your activewear? If you hang up your activewear, like on hangers or, you know, those little clippy thing, anything like that, fold it over, over a hanger, anything where there's gravity involved, <laughs> don't. This is how I store my activewear, real quick. Just want to show you guys here, okay. Okay, always keep them nice and folded. Just kind of put them sideways, boom, boom, boom. It's very uh, space efficient as well, but you always want to just keep things nice and folded away, okay? Anything hanging up, you're gonna just kind of, over time, you're gonna notice it starting to warp. You know, certain areas, like around the straps. So always just kind of fold it in, tuck it away. Easy peasy, okay? You can't go wrong doing it this way. Same with down here, okay? I have like a whole drawer of this, just so you know. It's it, it's getting obnoxious. I know what you're thinking. But um, I use it all. <laughs> I really, I truly do. And then I also have like probably 90% of my closet is dedicated to my activewear as well. So if you wanna see a whole like closet tour, um, I don't hang anything up other than just regular hoodies and things like that. Um, things that are just, I kinda don't really care about, things I get off of like Amazon or something like that. <laughs> other than that, I do like have everything folded in uh, hanging, organized, all that. So just let me know, comment down below if you wanna see uh, how I organize and store my activewear. So yeah guys, that was the video on how I wash my activewear. Hope you guys found this helpful. Comment down below if you did, and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You are not in this alone. Together, we got this, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.